Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, taking a look at the eStarling Touch Connect Digital Photo Frame. Now, what this is, as I said, it's a digital photo frame, 10.2 inch touchscreen display. It allows us to connect to our Wi Fi network or if we use an Ethernet cable to our wired network, and we can get pictures from, if I pull it up on the side here, we can get pictures from a Gmail account, an RSS feed, Picasa, which is Google's um, image hosting service. We can connect to Flickr, get our pictures from Facebook. And you see here Google Calendar and Twitter, we can also get updates from those. So if we have uh, calendar items in our Google Calendar, we can also check our Twitter feed. We have, had, we have had a little trouble getting the Twitter feed to work. If we pull it up here, you see we don't really have any updates right now. Um, and if we want to try and update our status, we can see the state of the keyboard. Um, so connecting via Wi-Fi, I did mention that it is 802.11n, which means you can connect to basically 802.11n, a B network, a G network, it doesn't really matter. But we've had some difficulty in that we can't connect to any network with, for example, a percentage sign or a tilde or any kind of characters that you wouldn't encounter on kind of a regular basis. So we can see here, uh, 1, 2, 3 through 0. We also have the standard QWERTY layout here. And if we go to the second state of the keyboard, we get a few symbols, 10 of them, and then uppercase keys. But we don't have, like I said, a percentage sign. I'm not seeing a tilde. I don't even see a colon in here. There's all kinds of characters that aren't, uh, aren't associated here. So for example, trying to connect to a Wi-Fi network that is reasonably secure, you might have a little bit of a hard time. We can close out of our Twitter feed here. So now we can see some photos coming up from my Facebook. And we can choose to, well, that's root beer, I assure you. We can choose to either, um, we can actually, we can change the effects. So let's have a look here. We can, currently, we're using random transitions. We can choose to do only, for example, some options here. We can do only dissolves. We can change the interval from uh, three seconds all the way up to an hour. Let's go with 10 seconds. And we'll say OK. So now you can actually, in the module up here, you can actually access this and get weather for your area. So you need to go onto yahoo.com, um, find the WOEID for your area in order to get push weather updates, and they'll appear here. So now it is a resistive as opposed to a capacitive touchscreen. So we can't do any zooming or rotating or anything like that. It's very much kind of tap what you want to do, and, th and that's it. And it runs on top of Windows CE, which it can be a little kind of finicky at times. You might find that you're waiting for the device to start responding. But once you get it all set up, set up probably takes about an hour if you want to associate your Gmail account, your Flickr, your, um, your Facebook, and all that kind of stuff. It'll take about an hour to set up. But once you have it all set up, you're good to go, and your pictures will start streaming into the device. So that's a quick look at the eStarling Touch Connect digital photo frame. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.